I'm Molly Kate Kessner, and all eyes are on me because I'm looking right back at them. People tell me, sell me potions, notions of success and fortune. Who are they to tell me? Who are they to tell me? I could fake it just to make it, give a promise just to break it. Who are they to tell me? Maybe if I only gave away the part of me, heart of me, just enough to start something, ain't nothing. Keep judging. Yeah. I won't compromise, no. I won't say goodbye to dreams I had since I was five. You can never. Try to cut me, shut me down to size But trust me, they don't even know me No, they don't even know me I don't need to justify the way I live My life is mine, so who are you to tell me? Who are you to tell me? I owe you the part of me, heart of me Just enough to start something Ain't nothing, keep judging It's going to be a good night. So my name's Molly Kate Kessner, and I'm a singer-songwriter, originally from Minnesota, but moved out to L.A. two years ago, and I've been pursuing an artist career ever since. Music really began from the moment I was born. I was born into a family that sang and played instruments, and so since I was a little kid, I was sneaking up and playing the piano or stealing my mom's guitar or singing and making up music. So when I was 17 years old, I decided I wanted to write my first real song. And I remember I was actually the janitor at my dad's electrical shop. And I had this idea for a story that followed a girl's life. And I started writing it down on one of the secretary's paper. And I brought it home, finished up cleaning, I brought it home and sat down at the piano and that's how my song, His Daughter, really was born. And wasn't much time at all to write it, but then a year later I put it up online and had no idea how much reach and how much impact it would have on Facebook and on YouTube. 
So my whole life, my family has been my greatest source of support, greatest source of laughter, of love. And I come from a really big family. I have six siblings. And my parents have been married over 30 years. And I just grew up in this home that was a really happy place. And even since I've left, they're so supportive of me every step of the way. But me and my younger brother's relationship has gotten extra close ever since I moved away because I think now he sees me pursuing music and he actually is a really talented producer and musician as well. So that's something he wants to go after. And uh, so my new song, Footprints, is inspired and dedicated to my younger brother, Nathan. And um, really it's about how he can follow my footprints and he can watch my life and learn from my life but it doesn't have to be the same. He can take his own path and he can do things that I never could have done. And that's really what I want for him at the end of the day. Transitioning from Minnesota to Los Angeles, it's basically like moving from a block of ice to civilization. <laughs> and uh, I mean, Minnesota is, I love it so much. I will forever be a Minnesota girl, but it, small town Minnesota could not be more different than Los Angeles and coming out here really helped me I think grow up and kind of learn how to live on my own two feet and get my own place and buy my own groceries and handle my own problems while also giving me this sense of freedom to really pursue my dream and there was finally nothing really holding me back from that. My biggest piece of advice to anyone who is an aspiring musician or songwriter or singer, but they feel disconnected from the music industry or they feel like they're just in a small town and they could never make it out. Social media and technology is your greatest tool. I know from personal experience that I literally just put up a video from my iPhone. There was no editing, no auto-tune, nothing. And that is what helped me break out. And so I know if it can happen for me, it truly could happen for anyone. And bet on yourself. Bet that someone really does want to hear what you have to say. And take that chance. Put yourself out there because uh, the, I think the reward is way greater than the risk. So lately, I've actually been focusing a lot more on the artist side of my life, where I was just writing songs for a long time, and now I'm getting to put out music. I just put out my song Footprints and my song Compromise, and getting to perform more, and it's just so much fun to finally get to share what I've been working on. I'm going on tour this fall with Phoebe Ryan. So excited for that. Uh, and then also, Something that was a huge step for me is I had my first song come out with a major artist. So my song Move You that I wrote in Nashville like a year ago just came out with Kelly Clarkson and I got to write it with the most incredible people in LA, Amy Cooney and Nick Ruth, two of my favorite writers. And it was just this really bizarre moment where I thought, I've, I've listened to Kelly Clarkson's music since I was a little kid and I love her music and now She's singing something that I made and she loves it. So that, I mean, I can't even really describe how cool that was for me. The rest of 2017 is gonna be a little bit crazy. I have another song coming out on Kelly Clarkson's album that I'm so, so, so excited about. It's actually the reason I even got to write for her in the first place. And it's called Slow Dance and I'm really excited for that one to come out and then uh, shortly after that, I'm going to be going on tour with Phoebe Ryan. I've never done a bus tour. I have no idea what to expect. Well, I expect, I don't know, I expect a lot of weird things and hopefully good things. And I cannot wait to come to so many cities that I've never been to before or played in before. And then there's going to be some new music coming, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. Most people are usually pretty surprised when they hear me. Uh, because I guess I have a lot more soul than I give off. But 
I also think my, my music and my shows are very intimate. And I try to, every single time I play a show, I try to connect with every single person I can make eye contact with. Because I'm not just writing this music for me, I'm writing it for you. And if you come to a show of mine and I'm there afterwards, I want to see you and I want to talk to you and I want to hear what you thought. Because music is meant to be shared. If, if I was just doing it for myself, it would not be nearly as fulfilling as it is. Hey guys, I'm Molly Kate Kessner and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch.